Pisces and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your daily love message for August 1st. I'm going to tip you down because you got cards flying out already. I did put them back but they were the King of Cups and the High Priestess. All right, the first two cards out, the Queen of Cups and the Chariot. The energy of your person is the Two of Pentacles, clarified with the Two of Swords. Energy coming in for the relationship. The Devil, the Eight of Wands, and the Three of Wands. And the outcome. What is Pisces' outcome today? Pisces outcome for today. And, whoa, way too many. There we go. The Seven of Cups and the Queen of Swords in reverse. All right, your bottom of the deck and shared energy is the Emperor, clarified by the Five of Wands and the Ten of Wands. Bottom of the deck, King of Swords, taking action. As you go through a transformation, I do believe... All right, your uh, bottom of the deck and shared energy. Somebody's very controlling in this situation. It's like things have to be my way, my way or the highway, creating a lot of conflict um, between the two of you. Uh, but it's un unneeded conflict. Somebody could be trying to start an argument with you and your person as well because you see the four of people in here fighting, hitting that or swinging at that beehive but missing, and there's one standing back just laughing at them. Um, like what a fool you guys are. So there could be someone intentionally starting to cause problems between you and your person. Um, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But that's not the main problem. The main problem is the control issue. Somebody has to be in control of the situation all the time, creating a lot of tension, a lot of conflict. And that is going to be resolved by walking away and putting that burden down um, no longer carrying the heaviness of that relationship, Pisces, making a clear decision that you're moving forward. You're not speaking a whole lot about your true feelings right now, um, but you are moving forward and away from this connection. You are looking for some healing. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, there's some healing that has to be do done from all this conflict. Um, I pulled your guys' focus card of the day, and it and it was the star. Uh so a lot of um, energy around needing to replenish your own energy. You see this person in the card, she has her hand over her cup like, yeah, no thanks. Um, I'm just going to focus on me. Uh, you're going through a transformation, a, a big transformation, Pisces. So you're more focusing on your healing path, your, your spiritual path than being with somebody, being, you know, having a relationship. Uh, let's see what the Chariot and the Queen of Cups is here for. Pisces. Why is the chariot and queen of cups here? You are coming in in the upright, which is is um, good. It's like you have you have a handle on your feelings, but you just you still need more time to heal. You're still in this chariot, um, you know that healing process. Clarifying that is the knight of wands with the ace of uh, wands. So somebody could have came in your life very quick. Um, but they could have left just as fast. This is sometimes like the matchstick. It, it's lit and it's on fire, but it fizzles out very quickly. And that could have been what happened. You could have been dealing with an Aries here or another fire sign. Most definitely you're dealing with a fire somewhere in their chart. Sun, moon, rising, or Venus. But you really thought you loved this person. Um, and you probably did. But they were very inconsistent, very flighty, very hot and cold. And left just as soon as they came in or just as fast and now you're needing to find some healing from that situation the reason why they left so fast and came in so fast is because 
they are indecisive about what they want in their future. The Two of Pentacles needing to change but not um, trying to keep everything in the air without dropping the ball. And the Two of Swords making a decision. They know they have a choice to make. You see they're not wearing a blindfold um, in this deck. They see the two choices that they have to make. But instead of making a choice of one, they're going to try to juggle the energy, um, creating this in and out energy in your life, Pisces. But everything has to be done on their watch, on their time, when they say so. And it just is very heavy for you. Um, and you're not doing it anymore. You're riding that chariot on out of there. Why is the Two of Pentacles and Two of Swords here for Pisces person? The death card and why is it two of swords so yeah things things between the two of you have to change the old way of doing things will not work anymore um, they are going through a transformation as well they are purging through this type of energy this flaky inconsistent energy um, they are working through that and they will be successful at overcoming that but they first have to get over um, some issues uh, some of them are dealing with childhood issues. Um, they need some heart chakra healing. Yeah, from childhood. So they could be needing to work on their root chakra as well. But they will overcome this. They will get through this transformation. And they will make a decision. They will make a choice. But right now they're fighting that change. In the energy coming towards the couple. Um, the devil. So there is some toxic uh, yeah, I looked at the bottom of the deck. Yes, Ace of Swords. This is toxic. Um, because it, it could be a very sexually based relationship and you're wanting love. You know, you want love and marriage. They want, um, you know, a lot of sex and to come and go as they please, to put it quite frankly. This is like an intense sexual connection though. This is like hot, dirty, nasty sex. Like, your guys' sex life is very on point. But there needs to be more to the relationship to this. And you are communicating that with this person. Listen, I need more. Our sex life is good, but I need to see you outside of the bedroom. Um, this is going to cause uh, them to uh, temporarily walk away. Ten of Pentacles, yep. So the reason for this toxicity as well is they're still in a connection somewhere else. That's that juggling. That's that decision. Um, so they need to release a partner that they have a home with, somebody that they are legally married to possibly. Why is it eight of wands here? Yeah, there's children as well um, involved in this situation. But you're kind of putting it all out there. You're laying the cards out, Pisces. Listen, this is what I have to offer. Are you going to um, be with me or not? Sex is good. I need more. I need you to release that other person in your life so we can move forward. I know I can't offer a whole lot, but it's everything I have. So what's it going to be? Why is the three of wands here? This is going to manifest into a, a very strong connection. Yeah. They are going to eventually move in your direction. They are eventually going to um, untie themselves from that other wand. Um, and bringing, this will bring the two of you together. But you have to speak honestly about how you feel about this connection. Because currently, either you or them are trapped by that other connection. Or feel they're trapped. Feel they are. Think they are. They are not trapped. Um, but this is a very strong um, soulmate connection between the two of you. In the outcome, you do have the Seven of Cups. So you could have a lot of options. This is one in seven for me. This is a life partner or a potential life partner for you, Pisces. But there's a lot of options for some of you. For others of you, there's a lot of freaking confusion. And the confusion lies between this. Are we something or are we not? Are we together or are we not? Are we going to try this or not? Are you going to leave that other person or not? There's just so many questions and they're refusing to speak. They could be they could be giving you this, you know, like not responding to you right now or not very free with their information or, or their plans. So it's just leaving you in this state of confusion. Like what in the hell? I need to I need to walk away from this. Why is the seven of cups here? Yeah. 
it's like they're refusing to change. They're refusing to let go of that other person, refusing to get out of this drama. And you are tired of the drama, Llama, and ready to move forward. Yeah, they're, they're not going anywhere just yet. There is a need for them to move forward away from this emotionally draining situation, but they're not just yet. Let's see what... Let's see if we can get a time prediction of when they're moving out of that other connection. Because I do see eventually what's coming in for this relationship. Is it coming together? It is manifesting. But they're trying to fight the wheel of change. And it's causing all this confusion between you and them. When is this going to move forward? Okay. So you could be dealing with a Virgo. Um, but this is going to move forward after they see their inner light. After they take some time of silence, go within, do some soul searching, and realize that their stability does not rely on a dollar. Their stability relies on their, their emotional stability, their financial stability, their spiritual stability, their sexual stability. There's so many different energies that make you feel stable. And until they go within and realize money is not everything, because I do feel that they're staying with that other person due to money. Um, or the fear of money, or the fear of not having money, not realizing the abundance um, that they can have between you. So I do see in the time of Virgo, um, for the majority of you, that that's when they're going to move away from that other person. That's when they're going to allow this transformation, and that's when they're going to allow their inner guide to lead them back to you, back to this soulmate connection. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't expect any movement until the end of August when we're in Virgo season, Pisces. Okay. Um, I do see, I just got the message, you delivering the message that you're no longer going to be their third party. So if they want you to fill their goddamn cups, you better move away from that connection. And, and let's do this. So for some of you, you will give them that ultimatum and it will work out in your favor. Others, you might give them ultimatum and you won't hear from them till Virgo season. So uh, it's all dependent on your situation. Let's see what guidance we can get for Pisces for August 1st. All right, you got medicine woman you are a channel for divine healing power step into your power and that is clarified by bold unleash your adventurous side take risks and be daring and this one is calling to me as well expect a miracle have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered so there you go pisces there's your guidance for the day I hope you guys all have a beautiful and blessed Thursday. See you later.